What's up guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Joy-Con. Today we're going to talk about the Tits McGee 32 GB Arcade for the Raspberry Pi. I am running this on a Pi 4 with 8 GB of RAM. Uh, most people I see doing these Pi builds are not running the newest version of the Pi. I think that's because when the Pi first came out, it had a... a 2 gig and a 4 gig RAM option. Um, I love the 8 gigabyte RAM, I just want to say, because when I run my Pi 2, it runs like shit, and it drives me crazy. It's very, very slow. Uh, I'm not even sure how much RAM the Pi 2 has, but um, this thing is a game changer. The 8 gigabyte uh, Pi 4 is absolutely amazing. Um, I really like this build. I have no idea why they call it the Tits McGee build because um, a as you can see there's really uh, just the cleavage at the beginning. So I was thinking I would make the Nutsack McGee build or the Schlong McGee build. I don't know. It's a work in progress but uh, as you can see this thing is loaded. It's an arcade build. So the Tits McGee 32 gigabyte is an arcade only build. So it only has arcade games. Uh, well, or like 99% of them is only arcade games. There are a couple of Dreamcast games in here, but everything else is just arcade games, which I think is really cool because, you know, I've played a lot of arcade games before, but I've mostly played, uh, you know, everything from like the NES to you know, modern console, there's, you know, when I, when I was a kid and I, every now and then I would see like a metal slug arcade or something and, and I got to play that, but, um, this thing is loaded with every arcade game that you could think of. There's, um, I mean, just an insane amount of games on this thing all in one place. They've got the video snaps, uh, so you can kind of take a look at if you're not familiar with a game you can you know check it out and, and look at um, you know what the gameplay is like something else I want to mention is that uh, this can be found at arcadepunks.com uh, if you don't know or you're unfamiliar with how uh, the Pi works the Pi needs an image on the SD card in order to work and if you go to arcadepunks.com there's tons and tons of images that you can download that are pre-configured and set up for you that just work um, because of the community because of everybody's hard work so uh, there's there's all kinds of cool stuff there I found some that are like Dreamcast only uh, I think the Dreamcast classic um, you know there's there's like 500 gig builds that have just a insane amount of games on them but uh, this one to me looked pretty promising because 32 gigs of only arcade games is quite a bit um, and they're you know like I said mostly games that I personally have never gotten a chance to play so I wanted to check this out and uh, yeah it, it, it did not disappoint I, I really like that it it puts them in uh, all kinds of different categories. You can also search through uh, light gun only games. So if if you're, uh, you know, if you can, it's hard to set up on a modern display. But if you do know how to set it up for light games, um, you can do that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more uh, pie builds give this video a like. Um, if you have any requests for ones that you would like to check out, um, let me know in the comments. I'm always, uh, you know, looking for new things to check out, and I, I really enjoy just setting things up and seeing how things work. So, um, you know, I, I do a lot of that stuff in my free time anyway, so uh, if there's any kind of cool uh, pie builds you want to check out, just uh, let me know, and, or if you have any, any questions at all about, uh, like, specific games and how they run, or, 
anything like that. I've been getting really into the Pi 4 um, and, you know, different emulators that run on it and different settings that you can change to make the games look better um, and, like, different resolutions and stuff. So, anyway, um, yeah, give this video a like. Uh, if you are new, subscribe to the channel. And have an amazing day, guys.